All right, I just got to the barn and we are gonna do it again. <laughs> we do have to leave today. We've already overstayed. So we have to leave today, but hopefully Zara just like walks right in like a happy little girl and we can move on to the next place. The cool thing is, is the next place is we're staying on the same property with her. So I'm just gonna leave the trailer and hooked up to the truck and then I can just practice with her a couple times every night. Okay, let's do it. If you watched my other video, you know that we really struggled with trailering the day before. And I was really nervous that we'd have a similar situation today. But we also really needed to move on to our next stop. I was just really hoping that we'd get loaded up and be on the move. <laughs> of course, she loaded on the first try. Okay. Not all hope is lost. I was so relieved when Zara just walked right into the trailer. Now we had a four hour drive to Pole Canyon. As we travel northwest, the temperatures slowly drop, which is so much better for traveling. We stopped at a little town about 30 minutes away from Caprock Canyon. Just grabbed some ice and some stuff for dinner and we're gonna head back out on the road. Sina says she's ready to go explore Caprock Canyon, huh Chich? Yeah, I would like that, I think. You think or you know? I think. We finally arrived at Pole Canyon Ranch. The ranch is managed by Phil and Lynette Bearfield, who is the granddaughter of Jim Taylor, who established the ranch in 1911. He and his brother John rode their horses into this area in December of 1910 in search of land. This area has a lot of history. The spot has 16 pull-through RV sites with water and electricity, and they have a dump station. They have plenty of open space for tents and a good number of horse corrals. Though it's good to note that none of the corrals have any shade. They have a bathhouse with three full bathrooms, including showers. We tent camped, but they also have a bunkhouse that you can rent. We made it. Against all odds, Zara is here and loaded. Happily eating her alfalfa. Just taking Zena for a little walk. Thankfully, it is nice and breezy and it's not too hot. Hopefully it stays this way because Zara doesn't have any shade in her tent. None of the tents have shade, um, which for Texas, yeah, that could be rough, but we have good weather and we're here for one night, so. Once Zara was unloaded, settled, and fed, I decided to follow a path leading off the property. They had trail maps, but I didn't know how to interpret them, and there weren't really any signs on the trails. But we followed along the sandy path and stumbled upon a really neat area with cliffs and streams. You're a big water girl, Zara. I know you do want to get in here. You can. It's just water. What do you think? There's fish. Not a fish girl. Zara loves the water. We walked and waited and enjoyed the shade of the cliffs and the amazing breeze that rolled through. There were so many pockets of sandy spots, perfect for a nice good roll after being in the trailer for the day. Zara wasn't totally settled during our walk. She was very much looking around and seemed a bit nervous. Maybe she could smell the buffalo that is often seen in these parts. But even so, it was a refreshing time spent together. Living in Texas has been really difficult for me as I love hiking. I grew up in California where we had tons of beautiful hikes, and then I lived in Washington for three years where we had access to even more hikes. Being out in nature with my horse has been something I dearly missed, so I really cherish these moments. This place is actually really cool. Having fun. Zara got a rock stuck in her foot, but we got it out with a little stick. But that made me think that I should probably just bring a hoof pick with me. Hi, B. Good choice. This is our makeshift hoof pick that I've had to use twice. And 
and it works great. So I might just keep this with me. <laughs> so cute. I just love her. She's so fun. Who would have expected that this little trail led to such a beautiful water spot? I, was, I had seen pictures of it, of something, of water, um, but there's no like trail markings or the trail map is like, yeah, I don't know how to read it. It doesn't even have names, it just has like lines. Anyway, so I feel super blessed that we found it and that Zara had fun in the water because she's so cute. That was good. That was exactly what we needed. Come on, babe. When we got back from our hike, I found something unsavory in Zara's poop. It was a stringy and spongy substance that was tangled throughout her poops. It was almost web-like in certain spots. I'm still not sure what it was. I instantly thought it was worms, but I couldn't find anything on the internet that resembled it. Have you ever seen anything like this? I'd really like to know what it is, so if you have any idea, please let me know in the comments. After that disturbing finding, we practiced trailering and I used the art of luring. <laughs> I lured her into the trailer with soaked alfalfa pellets. Usually I use positive reinforcement, but today I used bribery. I just wanted her to get back in the trailer and to see if she would do it. And she loaded right up with no problem. Again, I was relieved and excited to shower and finally go to bed. Cute, look at you. Wanna go outside? Oh, wait, 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 Okay, I just took a shower and came out and sure enough, it's starting to sprinkle. So hopefully we can get this show on the road. Just gonna muck out her pen really quick. And <laughs> love her. I just need to relax. It's fine. It's fine. Again, Zara loaded perfectly and I celebrated with a happy dance. Are you happy now? No, okay, we're gonna get there fast. Not really, six hours, but I love you, baby. I'm proud of you.